Hey everyone, this will be the weekly reading for Libra. We're going to do a little quickie for you guys today. This will be a general collective reading as usual. It won't resonate with every Libra or Libra cross watcher. Take it resonates with the rest. If you have someone rising or Venus placements in Libra or you're dealing with someone that does have those placements in their birth chart, this could resonate with you. Please check out the description box, especially if it is your first time here. Personal readings are open and don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok. All of that information you can find in the description box. All right. Tell you what's going on with my Libra Collective and what they need to know at this time. We have all around them. We have abundance. Strategy. So someone's trying to figure out how they, I feel like somebody is, can't, they, they are hearing a lot about how well you're doing, how abundant you are. Maybe you're having some type of financial success. You're having some type of job success. I feel like somebody can't feel like feels like they can't get away from you and your energy or hearing about you, people talking about you, seeing things about you, um, your name. I don't know, something like that. But I feel like you have a lot of good things going for you. Someone is, and I feel like somebody knows that. They like that about you. I just saw one, two, three on the camera. Somebody wants to come in and try to make something up to you. But I feel like... Um, you guys have gotten some type of emotional or mental clarity that is making you set boundaries with this person. Maybe you feel like, what caused them to set boundaries? What caused them to set boundaries? I don't know. I see you guys cut this person off or you set boundaries with them and then you took a risk and you're maybe opening up to the possibility of new love. You guys maybe feel like you can find someone better. Forever change. What's have to do with this person? So they could have ghosted you. This person could have ghosted you. So now you guys are like, they could have been, been the one to end this or walk away from this. But now they're regretting this. Like things maybe ended very abruptly between you and this person and it hurt. They could have ghosted you, but it definitely triggered you to grow and change. Like it was hurtful, but it led to a lot of growth for you and healing. And I feel like now you guys are about to take that risk and maybe open up to new love. And I feel like you guys... Yeah, you definitely have learned a lesson. The lessons card isn't out here, but you have learned some type of lesson from this situation with this person and you're not going to let them come back and do this to you again. All right? Like they're not, you're not going to give them the opportunity to hurt you like this again. So what is wedding? Love bomber. So someone's coming in to tell you that they want something more serious with you. They choose you. They see a future with you. They want to take things to the next level. Tell me more about it. Yeah, they want to reconcile, want to work things out. They feel like there's unfinished business between the two of you. They want to try to preserve this connection. What about proof? True love. It's like now, this person like didn't know if they loved you or not. What does this have to do with Libra? Mutual feelings and lessons. I told you I knew lessons was going to come out. And what's that mean for this connection? What's the name for this connection? So what now? Yeah. I feel like you guys, this person's about to learn. They're about to learn a lesson too because... Now they're realizing that they have all this love for you. They have that confirmation that they need now. 333 on the camera that they love you. Yeah, their heart space is opening. They're coming to the realization that they were running from their feelings. They loved you. They were felt for some reason like they had to protect themselves. Um, even though you guys do love them or, you know, there is feelings there on your end too. You have learned, like I said, you're, you've had a shift in perspective about this person. You feel like you're thinking about how complicated this was you're thinking about the divorce that happened between you and this person you're thinking about the separation how much you lost and how difficult it was for you when this person left you they ghosted you whatever they did to you th things ended abruptly between the two of you and how they were toxic like and i feel like you guys are going to maybe choose yourself for others of you you may know that this person is married and you're not settling for that anymore okay But I feel like this is a case of this person. You're doing a lot. But I feel like you guys may know mutual people. You're doing very well without this person. We have the tower, Scorpio energy. 
the nine of wands. It was the fool, but it fell on the floor. The fool, Aquarius energy. And the three of pentacles. Yeah. What's this tower? Scorpio energy. Yeah, you're healing from this tower moment. This shocking, this ghosting, them ending things with you abruptly, the abrupt ending that occurred between the two of you. You guys are starting to heal from that and recover from that. Loving yourself again. Um, I do feel like they want to apologize to you. They want to come in and make something right. What about the lovers? The Knight of Wands. It could have been cheating for some of you. They, somebody, they could, you could have found out this person had a whole other connection or they were dealing with somebody else. But um, what about judgment? You got some type of wake-up call or you saw, you found out the truth. What's this mean for Libra? Yeah, Six of Wands. You have a lot of... I feel like the tower had to happen because you guys were being maybe a little bit stubborn or resistant to change or you were in some type of negative pattern with this person. You guys maybe didn't even recognize it or really felt like it was something that you needed to change in your life. So the divine stepped in with that tower so that they could um, bring you something much better so they could put you in a better situation, put you where you were supposed to be, maybe put you on the right path, gave you some clarity about some things that you were not seeing or you were refusing to see. And I do see like now you're manifesting some type of wish fulfillment. It's like maybe you guys were wishing for something, but the circumstances that you were in were not in alignment with what you with, with what you were wishing for. And you guys were unable to see that. So the tower came in, divine intervention came in to get you out of to get to force you into change because you were to some degree being resistant to change, maybe wanting to hold on to a situation that really wasn't working out or that wasn't that great for you. All right. But I see that now there's some type of new beginning manifesting for you. Tell you about the three of pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's just, I just see you working on healing. What does this have to do with um, Libra, the Three of Pentacles? The Hermit. The King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. What about that person? The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like Spirit is warning you that this person is going to want to try to collaborate with you. They are going to want to try to team up with you, work on something with you. But I don't know. I feel like... Because they're sad. They're sad over this now, or they're going to be sad over this. But with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, I don't know if this person has... Why is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Four of Wands. They're promising you things that they're not going to even follow through with. Why are they doing this? What are their motives? They're being rash. They're not thinking things through. Yeah, they're going to try to maybe force you into something here. Yeah, they just they know that maybe you guys have had something good happen for you and this person wants to be able to benefit off of that or they know that you're very abundant. They know that you got a bright future ahead of you or a lot of good things ahead of you. So they don't want to miss out on that. So that's why they want to keep you around or want to work together on something with you so that they can benefit off of your, your success. And this person doesn't deserve that. You know what I mean? So keep that in mind. Um, let's see. <sighs> Yeah, self-work. It says identify your own. See, and you weren't identifying it. That's the thing. You couldn't see that you were in a toxic situation. You couldn't see how you were toxic at some point. Then the tower came in. That's what happens when we're being super resistant. We're not realizing things or we're not seeing things. We're being stubborn. We're refusing to change. Then the divine comes in with those, those divine intervention moments, those tower moments. And it, it opens our eyes. It gives us a wake-up call. It says identify your own toxic behaviors preventing you from having healthy relationships. We have testing the waters. Yeah, before making a big decision, they want to test the waters and make sure you feel the same. So they're going to come in and, you know, see what you will allow. See if you'll let them back in. We have divine love. So, yeah, you, this was faded that you and this person encounter each other. The timing says there are lessons to be learned. Trust the journey. Yeah, haunted. They feel bad for what they did to you. But, yeah, devoid of light. That's the person you're dealing with. Not in a good place emotionally right now, heartbreak or depression. You guys can't fix this person or heal this person. You can't change them. All right. It says nothing else to do. There's nothing you could have done differently. Challenges teach you everything as everything is as it should be. If this person was in this energy when you guys were together, it wasn't your fault. That was their own demons that they were fighting and dealing with. Okay. 
Um, one more card. Breaking rules. Yeah, you're possibly dealing with somebody that's married or in some type of other connection where they think be, coming, being with you is going to cause some type of controversy or breaking social norms in some way. Yeah, divine intervention. Yeah, and independence. The divine intervention happened to so that you could learn how to be thrive on your own. You are meant to learn how to be alone so you can thrive by your own efforts. And I feel like this person, the fact that you don't need them, you're not chasing them, you're doing so well without them is crap. It's killing this person's ego. Okay. It says the journey wasn't easy. They're fully aware of their mistakes and want to make things right. So this person is also getting a wake up call. They are also coming to terms with what they need to work on in, within themselves. Um, too, you know what I mean? So I just feel like their wake-up call is happening a little bit after yours, okay? I feel like you're getting it sooner than they are. That's why you're setting these boundaries. We have July. There's something to celebrate. Yeah, independence. Yeah, a blessing in disguise. Yeah, you finding your independence was a blessing in disguise. Anything else about this connection that's coming through? Lost in time. Yeah, you must know where you are going. Lost, no direction, off track. Get clear on your desires. Yeah, they're rushing in now. They're maybe going to come towards you in the summer. Could be around July. But I feel like you're going to choose yourself because I see you letting go. And I do see there possibly being a third party. There could be somebody else. They could be married or they're in some other commitment. Or it's just whatever this person's got going on in their life, their issues, their own, their problems have nothing to do with you. You can't fix that. They have to fix that for themselves. And you have to come to terms with that. Maybe that's what was the toxicity. You were trying to save them or chase them, prove your worth to them, make them see your worth. While they had some toxic habits, traits, behaviors, they were dealing with their own demons. You guys both had it, but in different ways. I feel like the part of the lesson is you realizing you can't change this person. You can't force them to be what you want them to be. But we have worth waiting for. This is all good things take time. Promise potential incubation. Analyze, learn, and prepare first. What's the what, any advice or um, guidance? Guidance. We have heart calling. Reve reveal your heart's calling. You have everything you need. And now is the time to follow your heart's desire. And we have pampering. Yeah, they're self-care, self-love. Make time to pamper yourself, rest, and have a moment of stillness to relax and restore your body and mind. And we have unfolding. So things are not over between you and this person. It says you close a chapter in your life. However, the story is not over. Give it time to unfold and see it through the end. And we have the witch. It says, awaken your inner witch. Put all your fierce and feminine powers to work. We have let off steam. Be conscious not to hold in any stress, anger, or anxieties. Reconnect with your spirit and let it all out. All right, one more card. Anything else about this person? Collaborate. So it says, so maybe there will be a time where you and this person will be able to collaborate in the right way. We have autumn here and we have family. So... There may be a time where you and this person could be, can be a family. There will be a time where maybe you and this person can come together and collaborate in a healthy way, but it's just not right now. And it's not in the summer. They're telling you for sure. I don't, I don't know what's going to be going on in the summer, but it says everything will come together in the fall. Expect change, balance, and reconnecting with loved ones during this time. Or there's maybe somebody new coming in. I don't see new love here, but I do see you. There will be an opportunity for collaboration in the fall or in the fall will be a, is going to be a good time for you to try to collaborate or come together with somebody or work on things. But right now you and this person need to spend some time apart. There, there are lessons that you need to learn. They need to learn wake up calls. You guys both need to have maybe in the future. Things can be different, but you know, don't forget the lessons that you've learned. You know what I mean? when that those opportunities present themselves. So this is what I have for you. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you could take something from this, personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links to both in the description box. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.